I grew up in a family where, where science was an important aspect. And uh, particularly my mother influenced me because um, she took me out. She, she was teaching me the, the names of flowers. And um, so, so this is where I get kind of an early interest in, in things around me. We are interested in um, the development of different tissues um, during embryogenesis. This is one of the questions. And in particular, we are focusing on one type of tissue, which are called epithelial tissues. And these tissues are very important in order to separate the outside world from the inside world. How do these epithelia develop in embryogenesis? and how do they develop the apical basal polarity because this is a characteristic feature of these tissues. They have an apical side which faces the outside and then a basal lateral side which faces the inside. The other um, cell type which also has an apical basal polarity and which also develops from epithelial cells and which we are studying are the photoreceptor cells. The light which is very important for these cells to receive in order to inform us about our outside world. At the same time, light also induces a lot of stress. So, and we are trying to understand how these processes are maintained and what are the, let's say, the genetic and cell biological regulators. And in fact, the genes that we are studying in, in flies are conserved also in human and mutations in one of the hu human genes leads to blindness in patients and is associated with a disease called retinitis pigmentosa 12 where the patients become first night blind and then they lose their peripheral vision so that they have this kind of a tunnel view and then in the end they become completely blind. So, so we hope by kind of studying the mechanisms um, of, of how this protein complex acts to, to unravel, let's say, the basis of, um, of, of the diseases. Well, one aspect for me is very important to, to keep internationality in, in the lab. What I would also like to have is a balance of gender. Um, I'm trying hard, but we have mostly women in the lab. And whenever I recruited a new um, uh, student, they always tell me, now you have to, to hire a guy. Coming to Dresden was for me really wonderful. It has a wonderful environment, so like uh, the Sächsische Schweiz. I like the campus here in, in Dresden, which is really very interactive, so the institute is really embedded in the campus. It's not as populated as, for example, the area where I lived for many years around Cologne and, and Düsseldorf. So in, in a way it's much more, well, living is a little bit more relaxed and not as, as tense. We really are privileged people because we can follow our curiosity. I feel very thankful that, that these opportunities exist and, and, and that a place like this really offers spectacular opportunities to, um, well, to, to follow science and to do science, um, which is um, wonderful. <laughs>